In this section, we're going to be talking about mesh point curves and other ways to create curves from meshes. If you have a mesh shape, part of the problem with getting curves off of it is that the extract wireframe tool won't work on a mesh. There are a few different ways that I can do this. One, contour. Select my base. Perpendicular, press enter. And as you can see, a network of curves has been created from my mesh. Another would be to create a shape that mimics this and then extract curves from that. My drape tool will work on a polygon mesh. If I move it out to the side. So here we can see our drape tool. Now this is a similar shape and this sphere is just representative. It could be a much more complex shape. This is just for my demonstration. But now since this drape has been created, the drape itself is a surface shape. It's a nerves object. So I could go here and extract a wireframe from it. And then I have all of these curves to work with. So let's undo all of that and get back to my sphere. Now another way is to turn on control points and actually draw on the sphere itself. How exactly would I do that? Well, first of all, I'm going to want my sphere a little less complicated, so I'm going to reduce it by 50%, like so. Now my points are a little more spread out. I'll turn off my ortho, so I have no snap on here except for one, and that is point. Why is that? Well, if we're going to draw with a control point curve on our sphere, we want it to connect to the points to be sure that we're tracing the shape. As you can see, I'm just going point to point here, and you can kind of move it around a little bit with the right mouse button to make sure that you're on the close side of the sphere. As you can see, it's difficult to do that. So another way to do that would be to actually highlight half of the sphere, go to Edit, Control Points, Hide Points. Now, even though the points are still there, they're hidden and they don't block my way makes it much less confusing. So again, I can just go point to point, and when it locks on, I left click to extend my curve, and I sort of rotate so that I can keep up with what I'm doing here, and I'm going to make a simple curve that goes across the visible section. So here's my curve. To show you what that looks like, I'm going to turn off point now that I'm finished. Left click, right click, and let's take a look. There, as you can see, not only did I create a curve that mimicked the shape of my polygon mesh object, but then I created a pipe shape to show you exactly what it's going to look like.